Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update March 17th, 2020 edition. In this edition, Vengo and Del Raba on their most memorable scene. And What's Up Weibo returns, but first, drama productions in China resume filming. So as we all know, the Chinese government suspended all filming activities earlier this year in an effort to curb the recent outbreak. Recently, the suspension has been lifted and reportedly productions are starting up again. Here are some of them. Legend of Fei, Love is Sweet, Like a Flowing River 2, The Golden Hairpin, Hello My Shining Love, Legacy, My Talent Neighbor, and Dear Uniform. The list is actually much longer. These are just the ones that caught my attention on first glance. The ones that I am particularly happy to hear about are Legend of Fei, Like a Flowing River 2, and The Golden Hairpin. Many of you have been asking for Legend of Fei updates in the comments section, so here it is they're back in production. Now that isn't much in terms of news, but it's a huge step in the right direction. Skate Into Love starring Janice Wu and Steven Zhang has officially confirmed their premiere date of March 19th. They released this poster and made the announcement on their Weibo page. In an interview, producer Andy Liu said that he found the perfect match for the lead actors right from the start. He said that it was immediately a unanimous decision between himself, the director, and the writer. Janice Wu plays an aspiring speed skater who ends up being the assistant to Steven Zhang's character, a star ice hockey player. Andy also said that he wasn't worried about Steven playing the sweet scenes because Steven is known to have a warm and sweet personality. But he did ask him if he could play the other part of his character, which is a domineering ice god. Steven assured him it wouldn't be a problem. Then when Andy saw Steven in action on the ice, he laid his doubts to rest. He said Andy was really cool and awe-inspiring. I guess we can all be the judge of that come March 19th. Vengo Gao says that his recent collaboration with Del Raba was the most complete. He was of course speaking about their collaboration on Eternal Love of Dream and who can argue with his assessment. In their previous dramas and movies, not only did their characters have fewer scenes together, their interactions were less substantial as well. Vengo said that Eternal Love of Dream was the most complete interpretation of two characters. This time it contains love and hatred and life and death all interpreted into one. There is an even more complete feeling. The two stars also talked about their most memorable scene in the drama. Del Raba said it was the big fight scene when Feng Tzu broke into the enchantment to rescue Donghua. Vengo said it was Feng Tzu and Donghua's first kissing scene. We were standing more than two meters away from a wall, Vengo said. The director wanted us to continue kissing while pushed against the wall. At the time, the floor wasn't level and there were lots of rocks. We did many takes and at the end, Del Raba said I stepped on her foot. I said I thought it was rocks. It was pretty funny. Indeed it was. And it's interesting to note the difference between the two stars' most memorable scenes. Del Raba's was a fighting one, and Vengo's was a kissing one. For those of you who have finished the series already, which was your most memorable scene? Let us know in the comments section below. And back by popular demand, what's up Weibo? So as you guys know, Weibo is China's answer to Twitter and Facebook, and it's the main platform that Chinese celebs use to share stuff and update their fans. What's Up Weibo is a segment that I do once in a while to update you guys on some of the recent stuff that some celebs have shared on their Weibo accounts. So here we go. First up is Del Raba. On March 13th, she posted a picture of herself as Feng Zhu and wished everyone a happy white day. Having no idea what White Day was, I looked it up. Apparently, it originated in Japan and is celebrated on March 14th, one month after Valentine's Day. It's a day when people give reciprocal gifts to those they received from on Valentine's Day. You learn something new every day. Next, Zhao Liying. On March 16th, she posted a piece of artwork depicting the blue skies and a crane on the set of Legend of Fei. The message was simply, climbing high and looking far, yeah. Her studio added an arrow and the caption, boss is here, indicating that Cao Liying is on what looks like a rooftop. Looks like she's climbing high for dangerous shots. Happy to see she's back at it again. A little further back on March 7th, she announced that she just joined Panda Guardian to protect wildlife habitats. She also encouraged her fans to join and protect those adorable pandas, something I can absolutely stand behind. Next is Yang Mi. 
On March 17th, Yang Mi reposted this poster, which is a thank you message to the medical professionals of Hubei. Her message was, salute to every white cloth soldier. You've worked hard. Go home safely. Next up, Xiao Zhan. On February 22nd, Xiao Zhan shared a Vogue Me poster of himself. His message was, gathering the power of love. And then a little further back on the 18th, he shared a poster of him from Bazaar magazine. His message there was that the epidemic has isolated people, but it won't isolate love and that it will be defeated soon. Xiao Zhan has laid low these days, understandably because of the whole archive of our own thing. But like I've said before, I think he'll be just fine and he'll bounce back stronger than ever. Next is Wang Yipo. On March 17th, Wang Yipo reposted the same poster as Yang Mi and thanked the medical professionals of Hubei. A day before that, he shared a makeup commercial he shot for Shu Yuimura. Apparently, he got to ride a bike for the commercial. Wang Yipo fans will understand how much he loves riding and particularly racing bikes. And finally, Van Gogh Gao. On March 13th, he shared an array of pictures of Dong Hua Di Jun. His message was, 10,000 year iron tree sends blossoming blessings. Further back on the 7th, he posted a live interaction he had with fans. That was interesting, and he showed his dedication to the fans as the interaction ran for almost an hour. So that's this episode of What's Up Weibo. In future episodes, I'll cover other celebs as well. Some of the usual suspects include Yang Zi, Deng Lun, Yang Yang, Mark Chow, and others. It all depends on who's trending at the moment and who shared interesting stuff and not just product endorsements. And that's it for this edition. This show would not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, liking, and subscribing. So thank you all for watching, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.